Today's topic is a topic that is not really spoken about. I've done some research and everyone talks about losing weight, the before and the after, and, and how to continue to lose weight and to keep it off for the rest of your life, which I promote. I talk about losing weight for the very last time, so you don't need to go back on that journey or you don't need to make that decision to change your lifestyle because once you have made that decision that you want to lose weight for the very last time and fall in love with a new lifestyle that you're going to adapt for the rest of your life, which is what is needed to keep the weight off and what is needed to, to make it sustainable and to be consistent throughout your whole life. So you don't need to go through that torturing decisions and punishing and, and bad relationship that you have with, um, that we tend to have, so not you, uh, that we all tend to have with food and, and exercise. And it's something that we need to really take on top of. So I really hope you like the, the backdrop today. I've got my nice basil plant growing here which I'm going to use this week to cook some nice Italian meatballs on my cooking episode, which will happen on Wednesday. So keep an eye, uh, keep an eye out on Wednesday for um, our cooking, my cooking show. And Christmas is coming. So we've been really busy building the, the Christmas trees and the lights. And so we're trying to make the best of the situation that we all have this year in, in, celebrating Christmas and celebrating the whole true meaning and really learning from 2020 and moving on to 2021. So what is the topic that we are going to speak about today that nobody talks about? And I can honestly talk about this because of my life story where I lost 80 kilos in 18 months and I will be celebrating 18 years next year, not too far away of keeping the weight off. So 80 kilos in 18 months, and I've kept off for 18 years, and I will be uploading a video today um, to mark a, um, a milestone in regard to what I went through this time. And this is one of the reasons what I'm gonna talk about is, today's topic is what to expect during weight loss and how to cope with that. So during weight loss, a lot of changes are happening emotionally, physically, that you need to work out, I haven't been here before, or you may have been here before if this is your second or third or fourth time around trying to lose weight. For me, it was about 25 times around. <laughs> So I become very good at trying to lose weight and, and had the motivation in the intention and the good nature to, to lose weight, but I wasn't able to keep it off. So, and today is all about what to expect during weight loss. Is it, does it, does it bring you happiness? Does it bring you more positive people around you and what, how to cope with it as well. So let's um, dive in. And I've been reading some articles of late through social media of one particular celebrity that has embarked on a weight loss journey. And I find this quite remarkable. I love reading stories of amazing people from all walks of life that have decided to change their lives and to lose weight for the very last time. And every time I see a story about this, I always send words of encouragement and support to 
help them on the way. Just to say, listen, yep, yeah, we're watching, we're behind you, we're barracking for you. We only want the best for you. And that's what's really important is really genuinely, authentically wanting people to achieve and wanting people to, to reach their goals. So this particular celebrity, which we all, or majority of people know of, is Rebel Wilson. And Rebel, Rebel Wilson is an Australian actress and an outstanding actress has done quite successful overseas and she's always to my knowledge has all and what I've read has always been a bigger person so everybody's known her as a bigger person like in my situation I was always big person right up until I was 33 years old so everybody known me no, I didn't know myself as a big person back then so it takes considerable amount of time to adjust and to and to recognize yourself as well. So Robert Wilson has embarked on his weight loss journey and she's so excited as you are when you are losing weight is that you want to share your story. You want to inspire those people around you, inspire people out there that if I can do it, you can do it. If she can do it, you can do it by simply making that decision, that intention to take action. So she's done this. But what I have discovered by reading some of the comments, 85% of the comments are very negative. And this is very sad. Very sad that when people become threatened, it is really the dark side of humans. Why would they want to put someone down when they, all they want to do is lift people up. Think about it. Someone is out there doing greater good <clears throat> for themselves. And at the same time, they're sharing it. She just didn't have to share it. I didn't have to share my story with you either. I could just lose my weight. I've done it. It's now your turn. Good luck. But when someone has done something and they are doing something, it changes how they feel and how they think, what's up in here. Immediately, they are doing something in which, why not share with the world? Why not share what's going through them, what they're feeling, and how it can inspire you? I'm pretty sure there is something that you aspire to, that you love, that you want to do. And you look at someone else, what they're doing, and you aspire to them, they're like your mentor, your the point that you want to reach to. So this is what Rebel Wilson's been doing. And this is something which you're going to be careful of. And this is what I discovered when I was losing my weight, that it wasn't always sunshine and rainbows. They're out there. There's no, it wasn't always that way. Losing weight. Does it always make you happy? Not always. It's the battles. Besides battling, losing the weight, to making changes and making decisions to eat the right foods and doing the exercise, at the same time, you had to battle with the negative people and the people out there who were very jealous. Because when someone is putting you down, being negative, it wants to drag you down. For example, if someone's gone through weight loss surgery to lose weight, that's their decision. And they're really excited and done that. And then someone turns around and says, yeah, I know someone who went through surgery and put the weight back on again. That's very negative. That's like, yeah, you can have it, but it should be like, oh, great. You have that, you make a decision, you lose your weight, we're there for you when you want support. That's how it should be, not the opposite. Most of the time when people are putting someone else's down is because that, that reminds them of them, what they should be doing, what sh they should be addressing. So instead of going with it, going with the tide and riding the wave all the way into the shore of victory, they go against the current 
and they be rude and vindictive and they put the other person down saying to them, well, don't throw your clothes away. That happened to me. Time after time after time after time, people will say to me, don't throw your fat clothes away. Well, I said, well, stuff you. Because to me, that was motivation, but for others, that can turn them right around and, and start to emotionally eat. And then they could put the weight back on again and they're back where they started. To me, that's very sad that they, that we, that you, the people around us have to go through that. And that is why one of my favorite quotes for 2020 is that when the flower doesn't bloom, fix the environment around you. Fix the environment in which the flower grows in, not the flower. It's a very good point of what to expect when you're going through weight loss because it's gonna happen. That means you have to constantly weed, just like my basil plant. <laughs> God, it smells nice. I can't wait to make my meatballs, my nice Italian meatballs. So don't forget Wednesday. So let's talk about basil plant, right? For this basil plant to bloom, to blossom, I have to make sure that it's weeded, it's watered, it's sheltered, it's protected. It grows in an environment that it thrives, not where it dies. Same with weight loss, during weight loss. And look at, the, look at the basil, I've looked after it. I've kept it away from the bugs, from, the, from too much sun. That's the same with weight loss. And look at it, it's blooming because the environment that it lives in is perfect. It's the ideal environment that this basil plant will keep to grow and grow and grow and produce more basil so I can cook more meatballs and make more pasta sauce and make more salads. What you put into it is what you get out of it and look what's coming out. That's my basil plant. Okay. I might think it's weird, but I'm in my kitchen, so that's why the basil plant's here. So it's, it's right next to me. So just in case you're thinking, what is he doing with the basil plant next to him? So this is what you're gonna come across, the ups and downs, and these can happen, and, and, and the people around you can be anyone. It can be family, it can be your partner, your friends, your colleagues, anyone, social media. And, and, and I just want you to be prepared for this so you can be proactive. And I'm sharing what I've gone through. I see it with the likes of Rebel Wilson and celebrities, what they're going through and being bullied by people who are weak, that they can't make the decision for themselves and they have to put someone else down to make them feel good is a very sad human being and they're out there and they will always be out there. People like this. Well, one way to cope, and I've already suggested this already, is to really make sure that your environment is the best environment that you have to achieve your weight loss goals. And what if your partner is watching you or with you and you're losing weight and then you are exercising and you are eating differently? How do you gain their support? Do you drag them into your new way of, 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 of lifestyle? It really depends. It can inspire them or it can turn them around the other direction. But you never ever force them to join you. If they want to, fantastic. If they want to support you, then that is wonderful. It doesn't mean that they have to love what you do. For example, if your partner loves ballet, 
Now you don't like you don't like ballet. Does that mean that you have to talk about I hate ballet, I hate that, I hate this to other person? No. That's because you don't like something. It doesn't mean that you have to hate it. You can support your partner by being there for them, or you might go along and watch the ballet as well. Now I know I've spoken out the topic, but what I'm trying to say to you is this. You may not want to lose weight with your partner, or you might not want to lose weight with your friend, but that doesn't mean you have to go against them. You can still be supportive and say nice words. In other words, if you don't have something to nice to say, then don't say it at all and don't bring it around them. I know when I was losing weight, I lost a lot of friends. And, and to me that they weren't friends or true friends in the first, first place. I had them all, I had, I had food, but, uh, food friends. We would go out and get pizza and eat and drink and carry on. The moment that I did not want that, well, they disappeared. So all I was to them was their food buddy, was their excuse so they can eat and drink as well. But I chose to change my lifestyle. So those people just withered away. And that's okay, it's gonna happen when people aren't always gonna be there for you. And it's okay that you distance yourself from these people that are holding you back or bringing you hurt than happiness, especially after you've tried to work it out. Like I take my hat off to people and my heart out there when they have, you know, they, they really want to achieve something. They really want to lose weight for the very last time. And it takes a lot of courage and, and how can I say it? It just takes a lot of, I won't use the word because I can't use it on, on here, but it takes a lot of guts to do it, right? So we should be applauding them. So these are some of the things that you can expect during weight loss. It's besides all the changes of your body and your mental changes, your taste buds and your sleeping patterns and your circulation. I don't want to get into the health things because there's lots of benefits and health benefits and stuff and emotional benefits. I just want to, you to expect along the way that you might be expecting that people are going to support you and be your cheerleader, but no. You'll lose friends along the way, but in saying that, you'll pick up new ones as well. You'll pick up new hobbies and new interests. Music, reading books. There are other ways how you can cope, and that's what I did throughout my weight loss, is go for a walk, bought some music, listen to a podcast or to music or whatever case me to shift your mind away from that bullshit out there that is bringing you down and that's what I would suggest that's what I am suggesting to you to do and that's how you can cope you be able to cope through those times because at least you know now know what to expect that people aren't always going to be there and it's really important that you are doing, you are losing weight for every last time for the right reasons that matter to you, not for anyone else. Because you can always go back to the reasons why you are losing weight. And when you're losing weight for the reasons why you have chosen to do it in the first place, then it's, it's worth it and it's reassuring and it's just giving you that extra confidence and, and, and gives you more self-esteem that you're on the right path and that you you know to expect that. I wouldn't call these setbacks. I'm just, I would call them more what to expect backs <laughs> um, along the way of losing weight. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this talk. It's all about what to expect during weight loss that not everybody will be your cheerleaders and not everybody will be your friend or that were your friend at the beginning of your weight loss journey and during your weight loss journey 
and that's okay because you don't need those people and you don't, you need to keep things positive the last thing that you want is to people to bring you down so really choose your battles and pick your battles and if you come across people like that then those battles are best to walk away not to fight you know pick your battles because there'll be more battles out there when you're losing weight and you're, you're plateauing or you're coming across something. They're the ones that you need to focus on and put your energy towards, not those that aren't worth looking at. So my best advice when it comes to what to expect during weight loss and how to cope during weight loss are two different things. What to expect, wonderful things are gonna happen too. Your body's gonna change, your mind gonna change. But there were people around you that will bring you down in a be that will bully you, not support you along your journey. And that is something that you gotta keep in mind. And that's okay because those people um, aren't there or aren't meant to be there with you throughout your time. And how do you cope by this? You cope it just by being positive and have positive people around you, you know pick up new hobbies and just really focusing on yourself and those people that are meant to be with you will be with you and this is what I experience and this is what you will experience during weight loss. Sebastian, known as a weight loss king, I have lost 80 kilos and I help women lose weight for the very last time. If you like this video please subscribe and please like, I really, really appreciate that. And if you could share it to anyone out there who could benefit what to expect during weight loss and how to cope with it at the same time. Um...